Okay, you still thinking about him? Yes. I try my best every day, every day to wake up. But every time I wake up, he's not here. I feel sad more because I alone here in Singapore because Brian, yeah, my kids. I need to be strong. End of life is a very active period. It is not about uh, lying there just taking medicine, but a lot of reflection, a lot of life review about what has happened. Very often, they would say, I am a burden to my family. They really sometimes do not know what they need, how they like to be helped. My role as a medical social worker, we visit persons with life-limiting illness in their home. Current hospice palliative service is for persons with a lifespan of 12 months or less. There's no more uh, available treatment to reverse what is happening to the body. They send a community-based team that can come to your house to support you. Fundamentally, all of us need love, unconditional love. Mr Ng accepted the home service very late in his disease journey. Mr Ng has children from previous marriage, blended family. The presence of the children from the first marriage while he is living with his current wife and child because we know so little about Mr Ng's wife. She is a foreigner. What happens if Mr Ng should pass on? What is the future of the wife and the young son? I met Johnny here in Chinatown, in front of my working place. He do part-time jobs selling dried mushroom. Um, every Chinese New Year, he do like that. Suddenly, we become close because he got two kids ready and I got two kids ready. We man enjoy traveling around the world. Suddenly, Brian come unexpectedly. After eight years, suddenly, God give us a blessing. Then we find out that Johnny had a stage 4 kidney cancer. The doctor also say he got one year to live and the cancer is very aggressive. American medicine, Chinese medicine, herbal, Philippine medicine, everything. Every Saturday we go to praying to the Pai Pai one. We respect each other belief. So he attend my Catholic also and attend his Buddhist one as a way of our respect to each other religion. Why the God give me a uh, baby then suddenly I'm gonna die? That's the only... She say, every time my husband go to hospital, he don't like stay in the hospital longer because he's a smoker. He say, I recommend you house peace better for Johnny so that Johnny can do his thing. It's first time to hear and experience that there's a house peace in Singapore. I still doubting because uh, is it okay to trust my health, my husband's life to this group one? That's the only my concern. I learned uh, palliative care and hospice care. Basic that they say how to change pampers, also how to take the blood pressure also. We looked after Mr. Ng for a total of 18 days. The runway was very short because while she is tendering to the husband day to day, she's worrying about her future when the husband is no longer here to support her. That time, I don't understand the attitude will be changing because the effect of the medicine that they're using, so they're very fast, frustrated, angry. But I say, don't throw me. I say, like, the way, don't push me. Push me away because I'm your wife. I'm not perfect, I say. But I promise to take care of you. Then I, my auntie say, you must understand. He is sick. You must cherish the memories, even he angry, you must. I'm very thankful that my tita tell me like that I enlightened up to me. Even though she's a foreigner here, she remember that she has an army of family back in the Philippines that she could count on. And this is what community is about. She may be 5,000 miles away from the family, but she remembers that the family will always be there for her. But what I'm seeing amongst our local, back to this phrase of, no, I don't want to burden my family. I wonder what has crept into this society that I am living in. The way she talk is there's a moral 
support also like is a good help also for me that I can talk my feelings also person and in case of religion Jacqueline always the way you say like there's a hope that everything you encounter is there's someone there watching us and help you do you find that this continuous meeting with the family and all helpful yes they try also their best to communicate to me and accompany me that I'm not always alone, especially the elder son. Then my brother-in-law bring outside playground my son. Then no absent one because they love my... His final wish is always bring Brian every Sunday to my mother-in-law so that Brian will never lose connection to his family. Mr. Ng is a planner by nature and so he has actually planned most of the future for as much as he can including making sure the children from his first marriage continue to support their the younger brother their stepbrother 22 before me died 23 he's outside he no much talk but the gesture he hugged me then he kissed my hand I don't know that this is a goodbye, but I'm very thankful that he managed it. I think this is the way that he said thank you to me. That gives me the faith in all of us, regardless of our circumstances, are able to make some meaningful planning to help their family be safe and move forward. It's so beautiful, so beautiful to watch. Then you always say, I give you one like me, ma, like I give you souvenir, trophy, like Brian. That's why he say. Okay. Because we never expected that Brian will come. Really, uh, the creation of new life and this new life to accompany you now. Yes, still in pain, but going forward. Right. In pain, but going forward right. slowly, trying, trying my best.